Tonight, we're hearing from the pastor of a church where a woman was taken to the ground by Fort Collins police. This is surveillance video of the incidents from that church. People at the church called 911 when the women had a mental health emergency. They asked police not to be sent, but when officers arrived, the church's pastor says they acted aggressively. CBS 4's Dylan Thomas joins us live tonight from Fort Collins. And Dylan, the pastor says the officer's actions were excessive. But the department and the chief of police disagree. This all started after church service back in August when church staff found a woman who was experiencing a mental crisis. Church staff called 911 specifically asking for medical help, and that's what they got, not a police officer originally. But within minutes, the EMS staff called dispatch asking for backup and then made a second call asking for emergent help. And that's when the video we were given starts. Security footage from Fort Collins Mennonite Fellowship on August 22nd shows the moment Pastor Steve Raymer called disturbing. We placed a call to uh, 911. A young woman experiencing crisis was circled by churchgoers. At no time did any of us feel threatened. We did not ask for an officer to be on the scene. And originally officers didn't respond, only EMS. But within minutes of arriving, EMS called for backup and then called again, asking for it to be a quick response. I'm at a loss as to why um, the EMTs felt it necessary. Moments later, a Fort Collins officer arrives on scene. He proceeded to um, confront her. But she refused to stay seated as ordered. At one point, you know, takes a, uh, a fighting stance, actually balls up her fist. And that's when the officer takes action. Our officer then used a trained takedown to bring her down to the ground, uninjured. Pastor Raymer felt the takedown was excessive, but Chief Swoboda said his officer responded to a call for help and acted both quickly and properly. She thanked us. She understood why we were doing what we did. We all recognized she needed help. The officer was the one who was able to get her safely into the hands of fire and EMS. Again, if they could have done it without us, they would have. Now, some have asked why the city's mental health response team didn't respond to this call. Chief Swoboda tells us that they do not work seven days a week right now, but that'll be changing come January of next year. But even if they were working, if EMS staff called asking for emergent help, he says an officer would have been the one to respond. As for the officer involved, the chief says he is still on patrol, hasn't missed a single day. And the chief doubled down, saying that he feels the city is safer with this officer on the streets. Reporting live in Fort Collins, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. Coming up.